Yo, what is going on? Oh my goodness, why are there cockroaches everywhere? What in the world is happening? What's up, guys? And welcome back to some more. Oh my, she's calling me. Uh, hey, believe it or not, but I've got, uh... I've got an issue. Bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? Could really use some assistance, boss. These ones look quite nasty. All right, I'm sending sending my uncle right away. Get in there, unk, and, and take care of it, please. What, what what do we have to do? Healthy dose of anti-bug spray. Nice. All right, so we're going to be able to spray this room. If we spray this room over here, looks good. And then we spray this room over on this side over here. It's actually, it's, it's looking... It's looking like it didn't it didn't work here in the kitchen, so I'm gonna have him go back over here, hopefully. My goodness, this is disgusting. Welcome back to some more of the tenants. It looks like we took care of it. Our first ever tenant just signed her at the very end of the last episode. She moved in and, and literally within hours we had a roach infestation. That was that was not ideal. Job well done. Sweet. All right. Ooh, babysitting jobs unlocked. New job type available in the jobs app. What? Let's hurry up and accept this elite contract over here before it goes away. So we're going to make potentially $3,800 on this. Let's head over there, see what we've got going on. Oh, we're, we're renovating a riverboat? This is cool. All right, so let's see what we've got going on. Of course, we're going to have to clean first. 78% chance on this desk. Let's go ahead and try for that we haven't had a failure yet so that feels good but um yeah man we're back my goodness i was not expecting as soon as i loaded in for that to to happen there oh shoot we might we might miss this this wheel here come on please tell me it works 58 percent looks like it worked 56 percent on what is this like a telescope kind of a cool little design there i like it 78 on the hammock looking like we're we're looking pretty good but um yeah, man. Welcome back. Exciting start here. I'm excited to uh, to see what happens next. We're just going to keep on grinding, keep on making money, hopefully buy some new properties, and uh, keep working our way up here in Wondersville. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. We're going to be able to start renovating. Ooh, we've got mold on the wall over here. That is that is not a pretty a pretty thing at all you never want to see that but i guess it makes sense it'd be on a ship obviously there's a there's a lot of water in a ship like this focus on the floors and the decor don't mind the required furniture we've got thirteen thousand dollar budgets we want to renovate it looks like we want sailors hammocks we want a bunch of them so it wants four hammocks four barrels four boat decorations hardwood floors and brown walls gonna start with the brown here what do we think's gonna look I'm not really I mean that that kind of looks pretty ship like let me see I kind of I kind of like that I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with like the, the brown kind of wood looking here so we're gonna have this go all the way around fantastic look right there we're also gonna go with hardwood floors so I'm thinking I mean Take a look at that. Take a look at that. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Maybe even something like this. Or we have this. Just do one of each. I actually kind of like the last one there. We're going to go with this. It's obviously going to be a lot of brown here, but makes sense for a uh, for a ship. So we've got that. Now we're going to want a bunch of sailor's hammocks. And we're going to want a bunch of barrels. This is kind of an interesting setup here, but I, I mean, we're just we're we're going to we're going to go for what what they want. Uh I, I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to how we're gonna lay this out. Do we just want them all in the middle? Is this just like a sleeping quarters for the crew? So I'm thinking, let's let's move the desk back a little bit here. Can we put this thing up on top of the desk? That's kind of cool. We could have this next to the desk. I like that. Definitely have the uh, the the anchor, or not the anchor, the, the wheel heel here up on this wall, kind of by the desk. And then we could have this guy over here looking out the window. That makes a little bit more sense. I'm wondering if we, and we, we could start to move things. We could put like, this stuff over here just to kind of get it out of the way a little bit and then what if what if we did something like this like had made a little bit more space so we could have two rows over here okay so i i mean that that technically takes care of everything that we were looking for here we could put some you know uh, little you know shelves on the walls maybe even do some rugs underneath each one I mean, would they like a big green rug or, or something of the like? I'm not sure. This this is a, a weird setup. I mean, I, I think globes definitely make a bunch of sense. So what if what if we put a globe on each one? I kind of like that. That's gonna add to our, our decorations. Um, cacti are always always nice. So we we could kind of put we have like a tiny cacti we could put on the desk. Uh, definitely a, a you know clock on the wall. You're gonna want to make sure that you're not late 
You got to get out there and swab the decks. So we've got that. I mean, hanging plants. You guys have seen we've been doing this a lot. I kind of like the idea of having a plant behind each or in between each window. I don't want to get too repetitive. The problem is, is obviously we're still early game. So you guys have seen as we level up, as we complete things, we've been, been you know, earning new custom options as we go we just we need we need a little bit more time to be able to do it i'm thinking maybe a, a map on each side here they're similar but we'll pretend it's you know different seafaring maps maybe a map of the caribbean a map of the trade winds or something like that uh could do kind of like a little mirror next to the door make sure you look good when you're about to go out i mean we've still got a nine thousand dollar budget uh, motivational posters to, to tell you to tell you to get out there and, and work hard i guess we could do something like that could definitely get a, a a you know little shelf here to be able to put some some books and whatever else on so i'm, I'm thinking let's have kind of a set of, of books like this if we move this at all will it be able to stay it won't stay like that so we could we could do a little set of books like that another set of books like this can we fit a, a, another one no nope, that's fine all right so let's just center these a little bit better I mean, I, I like I like placing all the random little things, dude. It, it's the little pieces that really make it come together. Uh, I'm thinking we aren't going to be able to fit an alarm clock anywhere. I mean, you don't really want candles on a ship. That's a bad idea. Do we have... Ooh, Pixel Beach? That wouldn't be a bad idea. This looks very ship-like, so I'm going to I'm gonna put that over in the corner. I mean, I, I don't want to make it too busy, actually. I don't, I don't like... I don't like those. I feel like this might be a little bit too too busy with all four of those, but we'll leave it for now. These, I guess we can we can leave those. They just don't. I wish there was an option to make sure that it was perfectly centered with the wall. That looks a little bit better. Do we want some sort of a chair for behind the desk? That's something we could definitely work with. I feel like this is very, you know, captain-esque. Be able to put that up against the wall like that. All right. Uh, I mean, we've got what, a pole coat rack. Could, could have that. I'm trying to... We don't really have much in terms of, of you know, C options here. Maybe some sort of a stereo might be a decent idea. We could probably get a second shelf and put it there. You know, have a little bit of music. That's nice. Get this little stereo set up just like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, trying to think here. Coat rack. We could put that there. I don't want to get too busy for no reason, though. I feel like that, that actually looks pretty good. I'll take it. Our first ever little fairy ship or whatever you want to call it that we've done i mean that's that's not bad let's let's see let's see what they think we've got a guy with a parrot in his shoulder coming in here does he like his books you like reading he doesn't like reading no he's got no time for reading he's gonna check out this painting over here i thought that looked kind of sea fairy ish oh he loves it that's right baby matches all the browns and everything else of course gave you exactly what you wanted uh see we've got some un unpaid bills piled up let's go to the finance panel to deal with them uh-oh oh he really loves it he loves a lot of it Let's get our final review here before we start paying our bills. So we got a, a five star on furniture, floors, walls, four star on decor, and then a five star on first impression. That is by far our best one that we've had so far. I'm feeling pretty good about that one, but let's let's check out our finances here. Uh, pay bills separately, but for now, just pay all bills at once. Want to keep tabs on your payments? I'm not that good with numbers. All right, so it looks like we've got electricity, water, housing, co-op, and heating. $548. Right now, we've got a $3,100 a month income, a $1,000 a month expenditure, and uh, a $2,100 a month profit. So we'll, we'll take it. I need to click on the remind option and pick an appropriate reaction as it's our first issue with this tenant. I go for the polite option. Oh, so she's... Is she late on on money or something? Yeah, she's she's seven hundred and eighty-seven dollars in debt. So eventually we could break the agreement and evict her. Um, we could demand payment, cancel debt, whatever else. So we're just gonna hit her up. Yo, girl, you owe us a little bit of money. Wait, see how she reacts if she doesn't have the. Oh, what? Two month lease term unlocked. Okay. Uh, what is happening here? Is it about? Was that that was an earthquake? Hold on. Uh, during the recent earthquake, a few walls got damaged. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll, I'll send, I'll send my, my uncle in right away. Uh, cool. Okay. So th that was an earthquake that just happened right there. It looks like we've got a little bit of damage. So he's going to have to repair this, that, that, and that. My goodness. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know we were going to have to deal with the elements, but we've got it. Now, one thing that you guys pointed out in the last episode, and I had no idea 
Just because you put a door frame in a wall does not mean there's a door in that wall. You actually have to purchase the doors in this game. And uh, we have a bunch of, of door frames in here, but no doors. So, uh, I mean, we can't edit it right now because we can't repair it or like do any changes when she's she's actively living in there. But, oh, did she just come out of the toilet? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so that's the source of the earthquake. But yeah, w when we, you know, get done with this lease and we're you know, re-fixing it up and renting it back out and stuff, we'll be able to put some doors in there. Obviously, having doors and privacy is, is pretty important. Uh, oh boy, thought I was gonna die there for a second. Thank you. All right, so pay me my money though. You're, you're behind on rent. Let me let me see. Okay, she's she's back in the green. Love it, appreciate it, looks good to me. So I guess uh, next up, let's just keep grinding. Obviously, I mean, actually, let's take, if we take a bird's eye view of the map, it looks like we do have some properties we might eventually be able to purchase. Dude, this is crazy. There's so many options all around town. It actually, it looks like this one is currently for sale. It's gonna cost us $179,000. It's a 30 square meter, one room, three bed, one bath unit here, okay. Interesting. It's near the bus stop. Oh, you have to take into consideration where in town it's at. Obviously, certain places are going to be worth more than others. This one looks pretty nice. It's actually really small. It's like a studio apartment. You don't actually have a bedroom. That's going to be $118,000. I mean, we're we're still way off from being able to buy anything. So now we're just going to keep picking up our, uh, our jobs and seeing what we can do. Business trip, look after my tenants. Oh, this is the babysitting that, that they mentioned earlier. We aren't actually babysitting, we're just like taking care of other people's tenants when, when they need it. Greg, I've just heard from my landlord that you'll be my new go-to guy for a while. A bit sad as we are getting along quite nicely. Let's hope you won't be a letdown. Okay, um, well that wasn't, that wasn't very nice. Let me go see what you're up to over here. He's just, he's just vibing. Oh, is he drunk? He's drunk. He's, he's, he's just absolutely sloshed right here. J just let, oh, lovely. Seems like a great, a great tenant there. But I, I mean, you can do whatever you want as long as you, you're gonna clean it up. Just don't, wow, okay. Um, so it looks like we just need to take care of him for seven days. If he has needs, we'll fix it for him and eventually we're, we're gonna make some money. We've got a $4,800 budget to be able to deal with that. Sounds, sounds good to me. Let's see what our tenant Cindy said. Um, just sent the money, <laughs> it just passed out in the middle of the kitchen. That is fantastic. All right, cool, we'll take it. So, I mean, it, ideally that's gonna be pretty easy. Hopefully we just sit here for the next seven days and, and it's just free money in our pocket. Let's take a look at our next job. Need help finding the right tenant. $1,200, no janitor, cashier preferences, someone, uh, I, we can, we can try to do this. So we're going to be managing someone's open house, not even my own. So they don't want a janitor a ca or a cashier. That's weird. I, I feel like a janitor would be a fantastic choice of a tenant because he's going to be able to fix things. Uh, someone 35 to 42 years old with at least one previous tenancy. Got $1,200 cash to be able to spend four days. Okay. So let's, let's talk to him here. We've, we've got the lady in red. She really, really loves it. Let me, uh, let me do, let's do a little... A background check. I'm gonna wait for this to come back. Let's open this up. No criminal record, no debts. Let's check her tenancy history. See if she has at least one. Oh, she's 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 22 years old. We don't even we don't even want that. This girl is is 50 years old. All right, let's let's try a a background check. No criminal history, but she's seven hundred thousand dollars in debt. All right, that's not gonna be ideal. We've got uh, oh. John Fraser's a gamer. I like that. So let's do a little background check. We are blowing through this guy's money. I feel bad. Uh, you got to put the right tenant in though. You're going to pay way more in the long run. Felony for involuntary manslaughter and a felony for resisting arrest and a fel- uh, Okay. And he's, he's over a million dollars in debt. Yeah, we're not going to rent it to him either. How are you? She's 50 years old. Let's do a little background check. I mean, I've, I've blown through his budget. If she's- Oh, she's an influencer. A nightclub dancer. $376,000 in, in debt. Tenancy check. Let's see if she's got at least one. She's got a good history. All right, let's 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 negotiate with her. So we're going to go for, I mean, uh, we could do 30 days. Uh, let's, uh, d does it say, does it say how much she wants? Let's, let's make the offer at, at 3,300. See how that goes. She said 2,900. You got to, you got to wheel and deal, baby. I'm going to say, uh... Let's say 3000 and she's going to take that. All right, bam. So we got him a, a tenant. 
This isn't for our own apartment, but that should that should get us get us at least a little bit of money. We actually barely barely snuck in there. That was perfect. You there's something's going on with the fuse box. Uh, shoot, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's fine. Uh, the, the other guy, he's I'm sitting my uncle in. He's got a pack of rats. All right, Unc, I'm gonna need you to to take take care of some mouse traps and stuff. Here we go. Set up some mouse traps. There it is. Got one of them. Looks like we've got another one over here. It's it's three it's three rats. One, two, three. You should you should be good. All right, let me let me set up one more just in case. Come on, we've we've got to get over to Cindy, dude. We've got to, okay, we're good. Are you good? I think she might be good. Her electrical panel looks good. There's nothing we're gonna be able to do. I think she might have taken care of it herself, but we we've got to be really careful. We got to keep an eye on our phone, dude. This is crazy. Thanks for helping me solve the problem. I got you, man. Uh, Cindy, I mean, she was a little bit upset here, but. She did pay us, so she's she's happy again. That's that's fine. Let me see what else we've got going on. We've got some new reviews. Tenant got well taken care of. Greg can sell. I tell you, if I was to pinpoint a slight problem, it would be the tenant was too old. Oh shoot! I guess the tenant we chose was a little bit, a little bit too old, but that's that's fine. That's not a big deal. Okay, so we're um we're looking good. Fourteen thousand dollars in the bank. Let's just take our next job. Oh, we've got some bills to pay. Let's go ahead and pay those. No rest for the weary, dude. This is crazy. $4,000 payment here. Let's go check it out. See what we've got going on. Uh, wow. Completely empty apartment here. Let's go ahead and begin the renovation. So we've got a bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. All right. And then I think they're actually in bathroom. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. So bedroom, bedroom, master, bath. No living room or anything, but I guess they'll, they'll just deal with it. So bedroom number one, we're going to go with a bed. Let's start off with a bed here. Uh, how much we've got a twelve thousand five hundred dollar budget. We've got to be careful. I'm actually I'm thinking I'm thinking a, a big sky double bed in the master. Let's start with that because we're definitely gonna want that. Now in the other rooms we could probably go with something a little bit more low key. I'm thinking something like this. Don't want to skimp out on them too hard, but we definitely want to have something fairly nice in there. So we've got that. He's also gonna want a laptop, desk, desk chair. Let me see, fridge, microwave. Well, what? I mean, this it's kind of asking for a lot, but we're going to be fine. I'm going to move the bed underneath the window. We're going to go with a desk. I guess something like this will look, look fairly decent. We're going to get a laptop. I'm going to wait to see if we can get in the gaming laptop till later. I don't want to spend too much money off the bat. Ooh, see, it'd be cool to have a, a cool, you know, gaming setup, but we're, we're going to be fine. So we can set that up in there. Floors, he wants to be carpet. And then walls, he wants to be yellow. So we're definitely going to do the yellow carpets. And then we're going to have some yellow walls. I'm thinking either that, this. I mean, it's kind of sunshiny. I like that. Nice and vibrant. We're obviously going to add more later, but that's a wrap on everything exactly as he wants it here. We actually, we, we could place the, the cheaper laptop here for now and we can come back and buy a new one if we need it later. So that looks pretty good. Obviously, this is going to be our bathroom here. So let's take a look at uh, at bathroom. Shower cabin. I mean, I hope we can afford some of these big boys. So we're, we're going to throw that in there like that. He wants uh, a toilet, of course. Get a decent toilet. I mean, we could potentially put it on the wall like this. That works. I, I don't... How does he want us to fit a sink in here, dude? I guess we could put a sink like that, but now we can't get to the, the shower. This is, this is ridiculous. I guess sink and toilet are going to have to go on the same wall. If we do that, that might work. Shoot, still can't do it. Gonna have to move a little to the left. All right, I, I guess that's all right. So we've got that there. He's gonna want some toilet paper. Put that next to the toilet. Some floors, he wants tile floors. And then what kind of walls? He wants red walls in the bathroom? Really? Let me see what options we have here. I kind of like the dark red. Did we try that one already? I think we tried that one already. What about this one? I feel like the dark red's pretty nice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the dark merlot here. So we've got that, and then that means for floors, where well, we're gonna want our tile. I mean, maybe something like this. That's that's actually kind of cool. I actually I, I kind of like that. No bathrooms complete without being able to see yourself. So we're gonna put it. You know, we we can't we can't put anything up above the sink. So we're just gonna put it right in front of the toilet. So you can just sit down and just stare deeply and lovingly into your own eyes. We're gonna put a wall-mounted TV in this bedroom. Looks pretty good. We've got that. He wants a couch in here. Okay. We could probably fit one on this this wall. What colors? We're going with, with carpet and then gray walls. 
I mean, maybe maybe something like this is a little more appropriate. That, that matches a bit better. And then we could kind of move this a, a little bit more out of the way just to give you a bit more space. We're going to go with carpet floors and then gray walls. I mean, I, I kind of I kinda like this. If we go with that, we could go with a dark gray. We could go with a lighter gray. Ooh, I like that lighter gray. That's actually, that's actually pretty nice right there. I, I like that room. I'm a big fan of purple, so I'll, I'll take that. If we move this over just a little bit to the left, that looks a little bit better. All right, so we've got that. And then last but not least, we've got our master here. So he's gonna want a fridge in the master bedroom. Kind of an odd, an odd request, but I guess I'll take it. We'll do a little, a little fridge over here in the corner. He wants a microwave. Can we put a microwave on top of it? Perfect, he just never wants to leave his room, I guess. We're gonna have carpet floors. So I'm thinking this nice gray, that'll match with everything. And then he wants gray walls as well. Let me see. We might want to go with something a little bit fancier here. I kind of, is that, is that too much? I kind of like that. Makes me wish we would have done something different with the floors, but we're fine. It's a very eclectic apartment here, but I like it. So we've got a uh, thousand, eighteen hundred dollars left. Uh, I'm going to start with the preferred furniture. He likes chessboards and fans. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a chessboard here, and we could uh, I mean we we might if we if we move the computer over, we could probably put the chessboard on there. Kind of a weird setup, but we don't really have anywhere else to put it, so we'll take it. Definitely want to do some some color in here and flooring in here. So let's take a look at uh, at flooring. I mean something pretty simple. Obviously a big fan of carpet. So we're going to go, let me, let me actually see our carpet options here. We don't have many unlocked yet. I'm thinking something, something simple like that. That's going to look pretty good. Kind of take you into the master bedroom. And then for walls, he seems to like gray. Uh, so let's see. And we could, we could do pale white. Isn't really that nice. Maybe, maybe like this. Mm, I like that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's traditional. It's classic. Nothing too crazy. Spending a lot of money here, but obviously need to uh, to finish this up and then we need to add some random little details here So when you first walk in, I mean Maybe some hanging plants. We obviously need to unlock some more some more decor here. We'll, we'll get there Don't you worry. So we're gonna put some some plants on the wall. Hopefully he likes plants. He also likes fans I actually haven't seen any fans in here. We could put a fan in every bedroom for you if you like it's 100 bucks, 150 bucks at a time. So we'll we'll just go ahead and knock that out for you. Put that there. And then we could have one uh, in here just at the foot of the bed. Or I guess back here. Get some air circulation. I do like having a fan on me when I'm trying to sleep. So I, I can, uh, you know, appreciate that. I, I guess in terms of other decor, I mean, we don't have a ton of... Uh, a ton of money left. We could put a little alarm clock there. Let me center this a bit better. So that looks pretty good. We could do some little, you know, calendars and clocks and stuff. We could put a clock up on the wall. Maybe a clock at each bedroom. I don't know. If you're not giving me any any uh, direction, then I'm not really sure where you want me to go with this. We're down to $432. I'm down for it. I, I mean... Decor is at an all-time low, but we'll we'll take it. I, I guess we could we could probably we could probably add some more plants. When in doubt, plant it out. Add a plant in each room. You you can't you can't be upset with that. Ooh, looks like your tenant's lease is ending soon. It's just trying to renegotiate the terms for another few months, but it's up to you. Hey, you're the boss. Keep in mind the happier the tenants are with their landlord, the more they'll be willing to extend their lease or pay a higher rent. So it looks like we got one one hard eyes there. Gave him a nice shower. That better be a hard eyes. It's a happy face. We'll take a happy face. Not quite a hard eyes, but we're okay. Um, ooh, we've got a message from Cindy Warren. Believe it or not, I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? Could really use some assistance. I'll send my uncle. Perfect. So he's. I, I'm sorry. She's. She's got her her what's it called coming up here soon. Her renegotiation. Her lease is is up. So it's already been a month. I can't believe it. That's pretty crazy. Um, probably not ideal to have roaches twice in that time period. Is there something we can do about the roaches here? I feel like it. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be this. This difficult, man. Bring it over here. Go ahead and spray it. Is this like the, the infestation right there? Awesome. So we took care of that. Since I was so quick to react there, I'm going to say let's try to renegotiate. At least she's been good to us so far. Oh, we've got all kinds of upgrades here. I'm going to say 60 days. Let's raise the rent a bit on her. 30, 3350. Uh, 30, 3500. How much was she at before? I forget. Let's make her an offer. See what she says. 
She's down at 2,800. So let's... Uh, oh, she's playing racing games. I'm going to say 30, 3150. Make an offer. Come on, meet me there. Looks good. Let's accept it. All right. So she's in for another two months. And it looks like we've got ourselves a St. Lucia Street $11,000 elite contract. So we're going to take that on in the next episode. We're at 18K. We're going to keep on grinding, baby. I may even grind a little bit off screen just to get us some money. And um, just got to keep on expanding. This is crazy, dude. I, I feel like we're really... I mean, we're, we're starting to, to get into the nitty-gritty here. Looks like we did a pretty good job on our last one. We made 4,000. Oh, we're up to 20K already. Three-star in the first impression hurt us the most, but four-star overall, we'll take that. He honestly didn't have a big enough budget, if you want me to, to be real about it. So we've got that. We've got some messages. Jack's happy with us. She's paying us. All right. Things are looking good. We're going to take this, this job, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.